Hey, air signs, I'm here to do your sexual love reading for May 21st through 31st. So let's get started. Hold on really quick. Need my good little butterfly. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Hope all is well and love and war and sex. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Okay. Aquarius Libra Gemini. Spirit in your universe. Tell me what's going on with my Aquarius Libra Gemini. And sex and love and all that yummy stuff. Judgment reversed. Mm, someone's not making the final decision to commit. They don't want to make that final call yet. Not yet. The moon card could be due to maybe secrets or hidden emotions that's not yet revealed. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces as well. Five of Swords. This person likes to get, likes to talk dirty to you and you them. Ace of Swords reversed. So some of you are trying to cut this or try not to get too caught up in this relationship because you don't want to get hurt maybe or you're not too sure whether or not you are into some rough sexual shit like i'm seeing that both of you guys got together because you guys had some rough like relationships in the past and you guys use each other to release stress sexually in bed and you could be using like sex toys and shit like that and then we have the three of wands here lots of passion seven of wands as well you could be dealing with an, an aries leo or a sagittarius as well who you are afraid to express your emotions to or them you and nobody has made the final decision to commit to tell each other how you feel you could had a lot of uh, conversations together where the conversations were about love and romance and stuff like you don't know whether or not to take it to a higher level of commitment. You guys are, you guys always, I'm saying you always think about this person and then you. Like it's, there's just something missing I'm hearing. There's something missing. This person is very nurturing as well. Lots of hot fiery energy like you you're someone very attractive and very emotional them or that you're you you could have a different idea about this person or you're just not ready to commit because there's certain things or certain skeletons that are still hiding in the closet that you're not ready for this person to know about look at that king of water so this person is is very they know how to talk you into love and sex and stuff like that. They know how to sugarcoat anything. Like, they know how to get you, you know, romantically. This person is probably a water sign, too. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, like I said in the beginning. Either a water sign or a fire sign. Either or. Could also have those in your chart as well, so... This person just knows how to love you. They know how to love you. Could be a Sagittarius too. Neva fire. Oh yeah, more fire energy. This person has no problem coming to see you. It doesn't matter how far you are or you them. You have no problem going to see them. You enjoy the time you guys share. You're just not too sure that you're ready to reveal yourself in that way, you know, like commitment wise or letting them into your soul or you're <laughs> releasing certain things. And then we have the uh, six of earth reverse. So 
this person is there for you, like, emotionally and sexually, but I'm seeing that you don't really care about the material things or them or you or whatever, like, you're not very, you're not someone who's into, like, you don't care what they have as long as they treat you right, you know what I mean? Type of energy and vibe. Three or Earth Reverse, so yeah, like, um... Oh boy, let me see what's going on. Ah. Two of water reverse. So, yeah, you're you don't know if you want to have stability with this person, a commitment. There's um you could have been at one point second guessing or second guessing this relationship maybe because you still have certain things that that you're hiding or them you and you just want to reveal it and you don't know how the two of cups reverse it's like maybe it's just all sex and no love and this person or you don't know that maybe they're not ready to tell you it's just all sexual and you're not ready for commitment yet because it's you still have a lot of emotions you need to release or certain things that you need to unleash from the past and let go of in order for you to finally show love and commitment to this person or them you king of fire reverse so this person could also be a player that's probably why you're like second guessing it because you know this is usually a player in disguise yeah definitely probably a fire sign player in disguise that's why you're just like mm, I don't know and then we have seven of earth seven of earth also you could also be dealing with the Capricorn Taurus and Virgo too for some of you or them dealing with the Capricorn Taurus and Virgo they could be messing around or you found out they were messing around with the Capricorn Taurus or Virgo and that's why you're not sure. Uh, I'm seeing player energy. Someone's being a player. Someone is being a player. That's why you're not too sure. You probably feel like they have secrets or they you have secrets and someone's not making the final call to express that or tell it or come out. Gemini, Angel Lancers, what's going on? I wonder if they're cheating or you think they're cheating or you're cheating. What's going on with that? Or if this relationship's going to last, if you're going to want commitment with them. Abundance. I don't know if you could see that. Hold on. Abundance. So, we have the abundance card and communicate clearly yeah so as soon as somebody communicates clearly and releases what they feel how they truly feel and tells you if they're not ready for commitment because they are just still hoeing around or you know being a player or whatever they probably need to get this out of the way like you or them are not ready for it the commitment yet because they're still you still just want to be out there and explore and i'm saying as soon as like you communicate communicate clearly about what you want be clear on your intentions be clear on what you want you will have these this abundance with them or them you Okay, as soon as you make that final call, that final judgment, you will have your you will have your abundance with this person. Maybe they're waiting for you to leave a certain situation or them or them you. Either or it could go vice versa. Let's see, let's pull a romance angel oracle. Or I'm also seeing that around the full moon, this May full moon, like the 29th, there will be abundance of communication. Like you guys will be 
communicating more clearly, being more open, being more um, truthful. That's also an, a huge, huge, um, I forgot what else to say. <laughs> That's also going to be a huge thing. <laughs> oh, I had a hard time saying that. All right, look at that. Speak the language of love right on top of the Communicate Clearly card. It says, loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. Wow, you can turn a player into a husband or a hoe into a housewife. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have to say that, but that's exactly what I saw, so... <laughs> Okay, Air Signs, this was your May 21st through 31 sexual and love reading. So, yeah, communicate clearly to this person and be like, do you want to keep hoeing around or you want a commitment with me? Shit, let me know. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Bye-bye.